The title of this video is Help My Twin Flames Not Into Spiritual Stuff. So is that a problem? Supposing you're really passionate about your stuff, your spiritual stuff, you've done your own practices for years, you're really into it and your twin flame apparently is not. Is that an issue? Does it mean you're not really aligned? Does it mean are they really your twin flame? You know, when it comes to you doing the inner work, the mirror exercise to manifest your union, yeah, please know that what you do to manifest your union is the same thing that you do to keep your union around. And supposing your twin flame doesn't want to do the mirror exercise. Well, that's okay. They don't have to. Only one of you needs to be doing the spiritual work. Trust that your twin flame knows what is good for them spiritually. You don't have to try and make them do things your way. If they're not showing an interest in doing spiritual work it's okay don't push it on them listen to your twin flame have love and compassion for them hold space for them while they process their emotions in their own unique way a little bit of love and support goes a long way for their well-being the truth is you do agree with each other at the core your twin flame values exactly what you do even if it don't look the same on the outside. But as with everything on the twin flame journey, you don't want to look at things just from the outside because, because if you do, then you get depressed. That's not what's really going on. And as you go deeper into love, you'll see more and more about your twin flame's own process. And maybe you'll be discovering more and more about that in an area where before you didn't think he had a he or she had a process but they will have their own process and it's pre-developed trust that your twin flame knows how to look after him or herself yeah in truth with true twin flames there are no misalignments there may be misunderstandings and that's okay but please know that your twin flame is always has to be on your level. I mean, you might call it meditation, they might call it playing football, but it's the same underlying core value that's being expressed there. Find where there's connection and communication. Yeah, this really is part of the getting to know each other. It's not always going to be some sunshine and birth song the whole time. And that's okay. The process of working through the challenges to find harmony. Now, your twin flame doesn't need to be anyone other than who they are. So look for the places where there's already alignment, where there already is harmony, where there already is connection. The places where you are together and your togetherness is the most important thing. So it's worth finding the places where you do connect, where you are aligned and expanding from there. So if your twin flame doesn't want to do particular spiritual practices that you have a lot of fancy spiritual words for, maybe they want to go for a walk to relax, that's okay. You know, you're valuing the same thing, feeling good. They don't have to have a lot of fancy spiritual words and a load of jargon for what, what it is that they value. And it's okay to disagree. Um, it's okay to have a dialogue. Well, in fact, it's absolutely essential to have a dialogue about this topic with your twin flame. Don't be afraid to sit in, in the intensity of it. And don't be afraid to surrender when they're right. But having said that, it's not about who's right. It's about what the truth is. Because... If your twin flame believes in something or doesn't believe in it, then there's there'll be a reason for it. And so it's safe to go deeper into the reasons why you both believe the things that you do. And you'll find that you are the same at the core. And when you reach a place of peace in all these places, that's when you can do cool stuff together. Remember the challenges that arise and the upsets that you have with your twin flame are never, ever personal. Now, your twin flame doesn't need to do spiritual stuff. They can just be who they are. They can be themselves. And in this way, they can be powerful in their life and be naturally supportive to you. It's safe for you both to be standing in your power. It's 
safe for you both to be standing in love. It's safe for you both to be this powerful. The more power means more peace, and that's what you want. So, in summary, it's okay. However they are, is okay. You don't both have to be exactly the same. You don't both have to be into exactly the same stuff. That would be boring. You wouldn't need a partner if you were both carbon copies of each other, and you're not. It's okay for you to be specialising in your area and your person specialising in theirs. So in the garden of your one mind, you don't have to both be watering the same flowers. So if there seems <clears throat> to be a misalignment coming up between the two of you, it's okay. Don't panic. It doesn't mean anything's gone wrong. It doesn't mean the, this person isn't your person. It's just an invitation to go deeper. And when you do, you'll find you're always aligned at the core. And that's what's important. The oneness, one at the core. So you don't have to worry about a thing. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.